Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing a brand new streamer from Volumio, the Revo or Revo, however you want to pronounce it. This is an awesome digital rendering streamer. It's kind of like a streaming transport, like a CD transport once was. It's absolutely superb. The technology on board is, is second to none in its price point. It has some of the lowest noise floors and some of the best uh, jitter management and noise management of any streamer on the planet. Now it's digital only so it needs to connect to an amp with a DAC on board or an external DAC or something along those lines and there's myriads of those available but as a streaming source it's second to none. Right, let's have a look. Um, obviously, uh, relatively compact. This thing is not big. Okay, we've got the Revo from Volumio, music playing uh, transport, and a bit of a line drawing of the uh, what we are expecting from the unit itself, and all of that's emulated. Okay, nothing at the back. There's a serial number along with some scannable information on one side, and then some compliance associated with uh, DSD, uh, USB, Tidal, Tidal Connect, all of those types of things, as well as QBuzz. Opening this is really straightforward. In two locations, it is sealed with a couple of circular sort of stickies. And uh, sliding the lid off is really, really straightforward. Okay. Now straight away we see the product. And it's sitting inside some folded cardboard or something for, for packaging. The unit itself is made out of a lovely piece of uh, extruded aluminium with a few sort of working nuts and bolts as you can see. On the front we've got a, a basic uh, power and there's a tricolour LED to let you know uh, if it's in standby, ready, you know, doing stuff, okay? We've got the Revo by Volumio logo and a couple of little feet with some rubber bump-ons. Just putting that off to one side for a moment. We see in the packaging, down at the bottom, uh, a piece of cardboard holding the accessories in place and two uh, Wi-Fi antennas. Okay. There's an extensive user manual and it covers off all of the things that you might need. Uh, it's in English. It speaks about obviously the direct stream digital audio that it can achieve, the 24 bit 192k sampling, all of those types of things. It also invites you to download one of the important companions to this and that's the Volumio uh, streaming app. Now it's in its third version now and it's actually really really good. Then, uh, in the middle, held in place, is a large power supply. Now this particular one comes with all of the international plugs and uh, pre-fitted with one for the US or something similar. Now removing that and getting rid of it and clicking in the New Zealand one is really, really straightforward. Okay. Um, this is something, I mean, let's have a look, it is, it's something like um, 9 volts, 3 amps or something like it, or 5 volts, 3 amps, it's quite a significant amount of current, and it's good to see that they uh, have put an oversized power supply in with the unit. Now, back to the streamer itself, you can see it's not very big and it's not very deep. It has specialised circuit boards on board, and they use... Uh, extremely high quality uh, oxygen free copper wound one to one transformers to electrically isolate all of the critical parts. Its power supply is split and separate across all of the major components and the noise floor as I implied is ultra low feeding the the most neutral digital signal that can be rendered to your DAC or amp. So looking at the back, we see the two locations for the uh, antenna. And again, as always, hang around for the close-up photographs. I'll attach the aerials and all of those types of things. We see a very simple rocker switch for on and off. And it's got a lovely click, obviously a good quality one. We've got the 5 volt 3 amp uh, DC input and a USB um, output to go to a partnering DAC. Now this is an asynchronous USB, so, uh, and if I understand correctly, the voltage and clock are completely separate from the data stream as well. So again, real efforts to ensure that the signal uh, path is as pure 
and clean and low in noise as possible. It has a traditional SPDIF or coax digital output as well as an AESEBU output or you know, balanced digital. There's a USB input, there's a USB uh, C input, there's an HDMI output for the purposes of monitoring this via a TV and using, um, you know, while using the app you can get um, obviously cover art, you can see how far through the track things are and other information via television. Above the HDMI we've got a micro USB and, sorry, micro SD and it will play music directly off it as well as reasonably large uh, external USB hard drives and uh, USB thumb drives. There's a network connection, and this is kind of vital, really. If you're going to buy anything of the pedigree and quality, you want to ensure that the stability of the network is as good as you can. Of course, it's got the dual uh, aerials, and it runs 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. But if you're going to take it seriously, you should really consider running a network cable. It eliminates so many of the potential issues associated with instability of Wi-Fi and streaming. Finally, there's a traditional USB um, input as well, again uh, in parallel to ensure that you can use external drives and thumb drives with ease. So, there we have it. The brand new and multi-award winning Volumio Revo streamer, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.